What makes me mad? My sweet mate Willie. He owes me four dollars and he has a thing in my Tupperware and he won't give it back and he never answers his door and he takes 40 minute showers and he always takes them right when I want to take a shower or go to the bathroom. People who have really crappy taste in music but they think that their taste in music is better than yours. People that just litter everywhere around like very pristine like environmental places. I really hate when people litter. I do it all the time and I watch them do it and it makes me so... It's like there's garbage cans everywhere. You I know. know, exactly. I get mad when people confuse there, there, and there. Also two, two, and two. I think if you write the wrong, the wrong one, you're dumb. Carbon dioxide pisses me off. Things that piss me off include morning workouts, um, grass, carbon dioxide parking, the parking police, the parking situation. I don't like the war. Teachers who don't teach anything but then bitch because you didn't do what they thought you should do, that pisses me off quite a lot. Yeah. Uh, the radio TV program here actually pisses me off. Mad people make me mad. I'm angry about angry people. You know what else makes me mad? People that say I have to censor my shirt. F-U-C-K. Sure. Guess what? I don't care. You want to know what else makes me mad? Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan makes me mad because she used to be hot. Now she's ugly as sin. Did you see those new photos of her online? No. I, I'm not addicted to porn. You know what pisses me off? People addicted to porn. That's what makes me mad. Yeah, I think stupid people really makes me mad. Mm, because sometimes uh, you explain to them something and then they keep on, keep on asking why, 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 and that really drives me crazy. I hate people who are only into themselves. I get pissed off quite easily. Like right now I'm pissed off because the school is janky and if I decide to go to graduate school, I have to graduate instead of taking these undergraduate classes. Yeah. And if I don't graduate, then I have to take these prerequisites before I can take the prerequisites before I can apply to grad school. So I'm pretty much screwed. Yeah, teachers that don't really teach anything kind of piss me off. Expect you to come knowing everything at class. So. Yeah. That's, I think that's a big thing of it. And so <laughs> The electoral college, I think that's kind of bothering me right now because, you know, you can't really, your vote really doesn't matter. And they want people to vote and stuff like that, but if, you know, these big super delegates are just going to vote whatever way they want, like they did in, you know, past elections, it's really kind of pointless. My classes are pissing me off. That's my fault, so I'm pissing me off because of my <laughs> classes. You know, just schoolwork in general pisses me off. I don't know why I'm in college. Yeah. <laughs> I hate working. I want to get out there in the real world and make some money. What pisses me off is people that use the bathroom and do not wash their hands when they come out. That is pure nastiness and disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's what pisses me off. I never seen Asian boy and a white girl. It's kind of pissed me off. Like the emo kid who's in the middle of a party and everyone's having a good time and they're like, hmm, pay attention to me. And they're prompting you that they say, what's wrong when no one wants to? Nobody cares. Go home and be sad. Don't be at the party. I hate when actors are really over conceited and they think that they know everything. And when they boss other people around because they're still people. Yeah. Morgan Freeman's that way. Really? That's what I've heard. That's upsetting. It really is. Well, see, then that sucks. That pisses me off. Yeah, Morgan Freeman pisses us off. What is a common stressor for people that you find? There's a real variety. It could be academics, it could be financial, family issues, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend. Um, really, stress means a lot of things yeah. different to different people. I think most students would say they're stressed throughout the semester. At the beginning of the semester, it's stressful getting adjusted, getting your classwork, getting your financial aid. But the end of the semester is a particularly stressful time as well, getting everything done, especially if you've procrastinated. You know, it's very common under stress that people report being irritable, that they're just not as patient. And, of course, that can have undesirable consequences if you act in an angry way, behavior, or um, negatively on the job or towards the teacher. You're going to have some negative consequences, or even towards a girlfriend or boyfriend, particularly if it's not just verbal or if it gets physical as well. 
I'm very afraid about nuclear war or something like that. Not knowing what I want to do, choosing the wrong major. I'm thinking about my future and then I have to get a job after, because I'll graduate soon after I go back to Japan. But I'm not sure I can get a job, so I'm really thinking about it. I'm afraid that I'll end up getting into a job that I don't want and just have to do it out of necessity. Earthquake. Because Japan is an earthquake country, and in my area, it did say that there will be very big earthquake soon. And I don't want to die because of earthquake. I want to die, you know, peace, peacefully. So I'm also very worried about the, um, the poles and how they like melt and they can go over all the countries and destroy everything. But I think that's not going to happen like now, maybe with my little kids, but not for me. So I will be dead. Well, if we keep littering, <laughs> we're totally screwed. I don't know. I think it's a whole nother layer of stress and anxiety and uncertainty that people don't have that I, they think I can graduate and get a good job and everything will be okay. They're not sure they really will be able to reach their goals. So naturally there is that extra layer of uncertainty. But one thing I would say is probably throughout time there's been uncertainty and things really are in some ways better than they ever have been. We live longer, our health care is better. So to uh, get in a habit of looking at what's, um, what we're, what is good in our lives, what are our strengths, rather than focusing totally on what's wrong, because uh, that will be a little discouraging. I know that having been a counselor for many years that people can change. It doesn't matter how bad of a habit you have, whether it's being angry or stressed or anxious or depressed, you can change. I've seen people do it. It is possible. <laughs> Being hungry makes me mad because I like to eat. Dude, there's millions of starving people that are pissed off all over the world. No, they're not angry. They just wish they had food. I'm angry because I don't have food right now. They wish they had the energy to get angry. I would club a baby seal right now if I got to eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> With that sound effect. That's what baby seals make. For some strange reason, I have a feeling this is a hot dog and I want to eat it. I don't like people who like wrestling. What make me mad? It's my teacher. <laughs> she, she's so scary. She she never listened to student and she always have scary atmosphere. I hate her. I'm afraid that if I have a kid he's gonna be deformed as God's revenge for making fun of people. Just a bunch of bitch assness going on. <laughs>